Given when then is a very popular way of describing requirements and tests, it's become incredibly popular last couple of years with a tool called Cucumber and it helps teams describe what they want to achieve through a sequence of scenarios that start with given some preconditions, when something happens then we expect this thing to happen. And it allows teams to be very, very concrete and try and describe concrete scenarios rather than abstract requirements. So it's a fantastic communication tool for product analysts, developers and testers. Given when then is a new take on a technique that's been around for at least 30 years. In use cases it was called precondition trigger post condition. In unit testing it's called arrange act assert. What that means is make sure that your inputs and outputs, your preconditions and post conditions are clearly split and there's one thing that's being tested in the middle. And because it's so easy to mix things up in a human language, and this looks like kind of nice human language, then people end up trying to describe things like, given I open the home page, when I click on this button, then I open this page, when I open that button, then I open this page, and then you end up with something that's horribly difficult to manage and horribly difficult to understand, where instead, the best way to actually do this stuff is to make sure that all the givens come up front, all the thens come at the end, and then there's only one when action in the middle. The other thing that is potentially interesting as a trick for new teams to try is make given and then passive. Make given and then about the data, and make when active, put a verb there, make it kind of about the action that we're trying to test, because typically we're trying to test actions of the system.